Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back on my Global Village Pitching Station. Uh, it's time now to talk about smart cities, uh, circular economy, uh, food tech. So uh, we are very happy to... Uh, uh, to have the opportunity to do this. Um, I just realized that uh, uh, Nicholas uh, should uh, pitch. Uh, are you going to pitch here? He's trendy among the candidates. Can you just guy uh, uh, see if trendy Nicholas Sinot is among our candidates? He will be the only one to pitch in that room. So that's a uh, great. Please have a seat, Nicholas. You're going to pitch up uh, in, a, in a second. Okay, guys. Uh, so, uh, I'm very happy to be here. I'm very happy, if, of course, it's going to be the last uh, South by Southwest pitching station. So, it's quite sad. But last but not least, because we're going to now talk about smart cities, uh, stakes and opportunities. Uh, right connected from uh, France is very nice, uh, close to Monaco. The coordinator of a collaborative innovation program in smart cities and the smart building. How are you doing, Dominique? I'm fine. Uh, thank you, Michael. How are you? Uh, very fine. So the job of Dominique, the job of Arnaud is Arnaud, your uh, partner uh, connected today too uh, no. with uh, Dominique and uh, no. No. Okay, he's, fi he's fired. It's not a problem. So we keep you uh, uh, today, Dominique. Uh, so Dominique, can you explain what you're going to do with all the candidates uh, when will you will have spot up their technology and you will build up the chain of value? You are all years long uh, um, ranking the technology and with your collaborative role group, uh, evaluating who are the best to be uh, c connected and to find new market together. Please explain what you're doing and also explain your own project within SBM platform. Yeah, so thank you, Michael. So, uh, uh, pleasure to be with you uh, today. Um, yeah, with Arno, we support a, a co-entrepreneurship uh, uh, um, approach, which is, in fact, uh, uh, to uh, deliver to the market uh, the best uh, global solution uh, from the start uh, to uh, the uh, um, the end of the complete uh, value chain uh, of the architecture engineering construction market. So we have in our collective uh, 15 uh, uh, solutions and we are glad uh, to uh, join forces with you to really, de to really deliver and, and source the best uh, tech technology and solutions uh, at a worldwide level. Our next uh, meeting will be in Paris with uh, within uh, um, Beam World. Can you just give us the date of this this event where we'll introduce innovative solution and we also organize the next smart city pitching station? Yeah, this year that will be uh, very uh, different of the other years because uh, uh, Village Francophone and Beam and uh, Beam World have done a joint venture, so we will have a, 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 a pitch session on our booth. Uh, which, by the way, will be a large booth. And also we will have a different expert with keynote speakers. So that will be interesting uh, this year. Okay, so please, uh, with all the, all, all the jury members, you will see the, you have seen probably already the list of all the jury members. Uh, they will vote. They, of course, will elect the best solution. But you and your collaborative work groups are here to spot out uh, winners and non-winners, but the most interesting technology for the chain of value, the global chain of value in smart cities, smart building, water tech, energy tech and all the solution for new good cities food tech of course and all uh, the circular economy solution this is the um, the the principle something to add michel for this uh, last session jury uh, session today well ju just just to mention one thing and i was amazed to see some Polish candidates. I mean, we've seen solutions, innovative solutions from all over the world. And that, that really shows how the village francophone actually evolved in some what you called my global village. And this is just great because this is uni uni uniting a lot of technology from all over the place. And welcome to you all, guys. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, so, would you like to add something? Because that's your first venue here, Philip. But you're discovering the My Global Village. Here we're going to talk. I know that you are quite specialized and come along on stage two on a new energy solution. Can you describe what you're doing within one of the biggest incubator in the world that you are uh, now uh, managing? Okay. I am not managing an incubator per se, but we are in a partnership with 
um, a very specialized incubator accelerator in terms of deep tech. And that accelerator is located in Wallonia, which is the southern part of Belgium, as you know. Um, I don't have any problem to be le village francophone and to speak in English because we need to integrate as well all our technologies in a global village, as you mentioned, and it's very important to do that. We have one advantage is that we have a funny accent that everybody likes <laughs> in the world. So in that sense, when we speak English, um, what we are doing basically is to help and provide soft landing solutions with the help of that accelerator, both going abroad and coming to Europe, because many technologies have to be spread around Europe um, at, a, at a fast pace, as you know, since technology is really driven by uh, speed in terms of access to market. And that's exactly the kind of solutions that we are providing. We are also working on mapping with our um, sector specialists and I think that many of the companies that have shown their potential today can figure on those maps as well. So investment is, of course, important, but you have to show also your value in terms of IP and complementary uh, solutions towards the ecosystem uh, you, you want to be in. And that's really what we are looking and the thing we are the most looking at are the people driving the company because at the end of the day, um, all of this is done by humans. We don't have to forget that. That technology is only a tool for all of us. And the relationship is, is key in, in successing into all of this. And thank you for that. Thank you very much, Philippe. Thank you. Now, guys, it's time to start the competition. Who's going to be the first candidate, Justin? Turbine. Okay, Turbine in Las Vegas, how are you? Are you still in a good mood? You win a, a, a prize uh, in the pitching session. I think you're going to talk about uh, uh, numeric uh, the twins of the city, but you'll talk to us. So now you know how it works. You can start to share your screen. And of course, you start to your pitch right after the jingle. <laughs> Hi, I'm David Knight, CEO of Turbine. We are using a combination of big data, the Internet of Things, blockchain, and digital twins to help make cities smart and sustainable. And here's a quick overview. We are, uh, oops, let me get that back. Uh, we are a startup indeed. We've raised about $3.1 million so far in our seed round. We have about 900,000 to go, and we are very excited about bringing in investors from all over the world. And uh, I'll look forward to your questions afterward. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. That was our first candidate turbine for Las Vegas. Uh, who's going to be the second candidate? Imagine. Okay. Imagine is now. Are you ready? Uh, yes, Imagine. sir. Okay. So you now you know how it works. You can start to share and you start to speak right after the jingle. <laughs> Hi, my name is Adrian Hatch. I'm CEO and co-founder at Imagion, and we've built the communication platform for building and maintaining the smart cities of tomorrow. 
So the problem we're solving is that building a construction project, especially a new smart building, is a collaborative team effort by folks on the job site, like your superintendent at the GC, your subcontractors building the building, and offsite experts like architects and designers. Right now, there's not a good tool for those folks to work together remotely on the job site. So instead, they travel. And this industry pays 40% more per trip than others, and it's a massive impact on the carbon footprint of a job. Or they hack around it, emailing, messaging. Trying to do that costs this industry over $170 billion a year in wasted labor costs. It causes over half of rework on the job. The solution is Imagion, a real-time communication tool that uses patent augmented reality technology to let you connect to a video call and click on the video to place real-time 3D markup seen by the user out in the field. It's like shining a laser pointer through the screen on your browser out to the job site and marking what needs to be done. The user on site uses an AR device like a headset or an iPad or iPhone. Everyone is able to share drawings and documentation and record the session for future use. It lets our customers reclaim the time, one amortize $68,000 in saved labor costs over a year, but also use that time more productively for other tasks. Reclaim effort wasted on site. We're looking for customers, partners, and investment. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, you're from Anderson, so I see that the county of Clark is very well represented today. Thank you. Um, so who's going to be the next candidate, Justin? It's Sledge. Sledge. Okay, Slash. Okay, Slash. He did a tremendous uh, pitch uh, before, and now that's your turn again. Hi. You can share your, okay, share your screen. You ready? Okay, you can start to share your screen, and right after the jingle, you can start. Hi, I'm Carl Boga. I'm the CEO of Slash. Do you know how many languages are spoken on Earth? More than 7,000. And most humans can speak less and do speak less than two. So we are in a world where your own language is not enough, where your personal data can be leaked, when you are forced to watch boring ads, where you can lose touch with all your friends suddenly with no recourse. But together we can slash it. We believe that the web should serve the common good, bring everyone together, empower them. This is why we built Slash, the first universal messaging app that breaks all communication barriers. More than an alternative to your old messaging service, Slash opens up a new world of possibility opportunities. Now you can meet and talk with anyone in the world in real time, whatever their language. You can send messages and make calls with Slash instant translation and in real life too. In short, where and when you need it. Awesome, right? But there is more. Slash will help you share your ideas, stories, expand your business and network as never before. When you want, it's just the beginning. We as Slash are ready to start billions of conversation, to unlock billions of great opportunity all around the world. We as Slash are committed to make the world a better one for all mankind together again. So join us and be part of it. Thank you. Very good job. Congratulations. Okay, who's going to be the next candidate, uh, Justin? JB Atelier Aperio. Okay, Jérôme, that's to you. We move up from uh, American Europe now to Nantes, the city of Nantes in the west of France. Sorry, guys. Okay. I've got a computer problem now. I was expecting to start later on. <laughs> Okay, no, it's it's not a problem. So what we can do, uh, Jérôme, is uh, move up to the next candidate, and when we get back to you, get get ready for uh, to share your screen. You have something to show. Who's going to be the next candidate, uh, Justin? Yemais. Okay, are you ready? Are you connected? B M Y Z. Is that uh, is, is that right? B I M uh, Z E. B M Y Z. I'm here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So 
hello there. Hello, everyone. My name is Payam Moini. I'm the managing director of BMIs. I'm here just to show you one of our uh, last solutions in the um, smart farming agriculture platform. Uh, I think the best way to present the, the uh, platform is to show you the, uh, a customer case study. Um, imagine Mrs. Uh, Farmet, she's a manager of a, a greenhouse and she basically uh, cultivates vegetables and fruits. She's got a couple of people working for her and she needs to manage first the revenues, the productions, and of course, uh, these guys that she need to, 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 to deal with. Uh, in the agriculture, either you're big or small, it doesn't change. The, the most of the problems are, are the same. And we have noticed that in the market, you uh, don't find uh, exactly a, a proper uh, a platform which can answer all the needs of all these guys, small or big productors. Um, we have, they, they can do the traditional management, uh, which is basically the normal thing that everybody can do. I'm talking about the farmers, uh, all the people in the agri agriculture and also cooperative. What we bring, we bring solution in technology. And of course, uh, all the guys out there, you may know what technology can bring. We have already seen some of the, some of the examples of what I IoT can do. So actually our, our platform is an easy platform, which basically it's, it's an ERP, but it has been enriched with IoT platform and all the processes that you can basically offer to these guys. I think my time is finished. Just to show you that our platform towards the other competitors are, it is one of the most complete in the market. Thank you very much for your time. And I pass the, to the next okay one. very good job and uh, i'm sure that you can join the food uh, the food tech and smart food uh, collaborative growth group of my global village and i introduced by the end of this speech uh, nicolas you will be the last speech of this morning and i think that you two guys have a very interesting things to do okay who's going to be uh, uh, things to unshare your your uh, share your screen uh, please uh who's going to be the next candidate Reality sis. Oh no, maybe we move up, uh, we move back. I don't know. Are you ready, uh, Jerome, for your pitch? Yeah, I'm fine. Thank you. Okay, so now let's move, and it's going to be the last candidate before a series of questions, and then we move up to the second series of pitching. Okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jérôme Bourgeois, founder of Aperio. Thank you for uh, allowing us to introduce ourselves tonight. Over the last 14 years, I've been working with my teams on helping people feed themselves better so they stay healthier. Initially through culinary courses, then a restaurant with strong ethics, and now our new venture, Aperio. Studies show that most chronic diseases are linked to diet disorders. Companies know that health and performance are intertwined, and they need to encourage their staff and partners to be alert on these matters. But to do so, companies also need to organize convivial participative mo meeting moments adapted to their operational needs and circumstances. Aperio is a, a serious game platform on food topics promoting nutrition and health matters. It allows you to organize face-to-face, -face, at a distance, and hybrid events. Everything you need to organize these unique moments. Over the last four years, we've developed uh, new products and ideas. Uh, streamline our operational processes and packaging. We sold our first Aperio sessions two years ago with great custom feedbacks. COVID restriction did not stop us, and we are now aiming at growing our business further. As nutrition and promoting good health are our world challenge, we think global. Uh, in France, we've identified three prime targets, three prime uh, markets, about 64 million euro, and a primary buyer persona for commercial and marketing purposes. Um, passionate about food, tech and business, I have 25 years experience developing food concepts. Uh, Jennifer Osiema has a passion for music, food and people, and 20 years in uh, music, entertainment, bar and restaurant business. Uh, all business needs, uh, your trust, uh, your skills and business partners. Thank you very much.
Thank you very much and good job. Uh, guys, let me tell you that uh, some candidates arrived lately on the Zoom are out now. So if you want to pitch, we can do it. But it's true that we uh, remove you from the voting application when we didn't see you coming. So my apologies. And I think for, for next uh, uh, smart, cities, uh, um, smart Cities challenge, we will uh, make it sure that a candidate will definitely confirm their participation before the start of the zoom okay now it's time guys for a series of questions to the candidate do you have any question for any candidate please go ahead who's going to be the first who, who's going to ask the first questions any question for you <laughs> you can ask questions no any questions okay oh. uh, i have a question for uh slatch um i didn't really get your unique selling proposition and you know the advantages you have against your competitors so could you maybe summarize that in a few words sure so we, we are the only uh, message in the app that allow you to speak and write in one language and, and talk with somebody who was on the other side speak and write in another language and everything is seamless being translated so you don't have to you know copy and paste or use any outside apps so we are the first universal communication messaging, not global. Like today, most apps are global in the sense that you can use it anywhere, but they are shallow of languages. You know, Chinese speak with the Chinese, the French with the French, etc. Okay, thank you very much. Another question for another candidate. Bye. Come, 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 come here in front of the camera. Okay, another. So along, along that line. Um, it looks like you 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 did your 90 second pitch, but uh, that would be that would have been good to see something. Uh, just to, I don't know a few uh, screenshots or just a little workflow on what you mean because you when you summarize now you say well we do uh, we have real time communication in any languages so that's one simple tagline. Uh, but when you do your 90 second, then you talk about features, but features without any any visual. It's a little tough, uh, and uh, that would be maybe the difference with the other guys. But just to let you know that maybe if you can make a little effort there, because it looks like you're on something, uh, but we couldn't visualize it. Sorry, just a comment. Okay, then okay. You, you're thank, right. Thank you for uh, the feedback. One, one image, words, one word, that's true. Uh, okay, some more question. Any, any question for any candidate? Yes, uh, Dominique. Uh, we have a small screen, so don't hesitate to directly ask your question. Dominic. Yeah, uh, I have a question for uh, Imagine. Uh, how is uh, your business model structured? What is your business model? Sure. So can being you, a cutting can you... edge tech, we are a uh, boringly simple SaaS business model. So our users pay us by the month. Uh, based on the number of registered users they have on the application. We bill by the users who have logged in accounts for access to the AR app and the web app and recording backend. Uh, guests who are invited to conferences just to tune in and participate are bundled for free. Okay. Good. And we do not sell the hardware. I always have to clarify that. So it's BYOD. Okay, pure SaaS, uh, pure SaaS model. Okay. Thank you. Okay, another question for any candidate, guys? Okay. This is uh, in a Q&A mode uh, for Imagine. Um, I like that you verticalize the approach. I think it's a very, uh, very US-centric approach. Um, at the same time, it looks like you have some IPs on uh, how to do uh, some AR on the video streams, uh, which means you probably have a lot of applications behind that. Uh, can you maybe extend on that? Tell us uh, what would be your next market that would maybe relate to uh, other solutions, other applications that maybe we could, you know, visualize in our head in Europe. Yes, you. definitely. Yes. Um, one thing that excites us, especially about the European market, is the uh, increased adoption of BIM, digital twins, and smart city technologies. So some adjacent markets we're looking at are utilizing this technology for managing a smart building after it's completed. We're actually deployed with a security penetration testing firm right now that's using the headset on their field techs while engineers are connected remotely looking at the building's connected systems while the field engineer is doing work out in the actual facility. 
Um, our tech is actually available as a licensed integration for other AR software developers as well. Uh, so there are some developers working directly with BIM model visualization, smart building visualization, integrating Imagion's calls into their own applications. Well, you have to you have to pitch as a BIM World Show the fifth and sixth of April in Paris. We would love to be there. Perfect. Yes. You can be sure that the collection with uh, Startup NV, Jeff Soling, and all his champions is a long-term relation. So take your agenda and keep in mind that you will definitely pitch up during that event. Okay, guys. And so an, any more questions for the first series? Now let's move up to the second series of pitch. Justin, who's going to be the next one? Reality Sis. Okay. Are you here, Reality? Yeah. Do you hear me? We do. Okay. Share your screen. And of course, you start to speak right after the jingle. Okay. I'm Pierre Fontaine, CEO of Realitysys. We make electronics for sounds, audio, since more over 25 years now. I would just show a little few things. A lot of applications in different markets, different st style. All the different uh, samples have something in common. Is the right message, oh, sorry, the right message at the right time at the right place. We have a lot of different differentiation factors with our hardware and software. It's uh, small, teeny, uh, low cost. Uh, there is a lot of different advantages. I just leave you reading that. Our main products are three main products, but we have a range of around 12 products. This is the teeny one, it's just a few centimeters. It's a solution on a board. Or we have this uh, plug and play system, this box, in a ride in case, including a power uh, amplifier. There is a lot of advantages of interactive sounds. You can use your hands, you can use your eyes, so you can be one, two, three, ten people, and a lot of uh, different advantages. Easy to manage and multilingual. There is a lot of possibilities to connect it uh, to have uh, high quality sound, uh, a huge storage. Uh, there are autonomous, low consumptions, and there is a lot of various tri various triggers, wired or wireless. Wireless via duplex communication. Extremely reliable. We have already products running since 20 years in different factories. This is our main market, mobility, that's why I'm for smart cities today, culture, tourism, marketing, industrial, alarm, vending machine and talking object. We work in a few countries via partners, integrators or resellers, and we have also a few direct customers because they are big ones in different other countries. Some references, for example, in cultural tourism, in marketing, in mobility, and in safety and prevention. We have over 6,000 systems already installed that we have a lot of experience. Okay. And you have we to can conclude give you right now. This is my conclusion. We can add voice to all of your project and solution. A message at the right okay. place at the right time. Thank you very much for that job. Thank you very much. Okay. Manuel technique de nos modules audio sur notre site web. Okay. Vous remercie pour votre attention. I just Thank you. My... Okay, and please unshare your your screen. Thank you very much. Who's going to be the next candidate, Justin? Uh, the last one is Trendy. Okay, Trendy is here in that room, so ladies and gentlemen, Trendy Nicolas Sinot. Hey guys, so 60% of everything that's produced in the US right now gets thrown in the bin in the first hour. And that's not about farming more, getting more product out there. It's about being smart. And what we do at Trendy is we create biotrim units, a mobile unit that goes from farms to farms to process, assess food, and then we commercialize it for the market. To give you guys an idea, 
a kilo of, oh, sorry, I thought the camera was there. <laughs> yeah, well, gotta love it, right? A kilo of blueberry right now on the market is $4. A kilo of powder, blueberry, is $494, and there's a 14-month waiting list. So our clients are the Unilevers, the Coca-Colas, the Pepsi of this world, and they buy the product before we finish building the actual units. And um, yeah, that's where we at. That's what you are, and you do it well. Thank you very much, uh, Nicholas. Dear jury members, maybe some extra questions for the last candidate. Does anyone, a uh, candidate that will arrive late on the system is still with us and want to pitch its solution? Uh, I don't know if they have to leave anyway. Okay, so now, dear jury members, any more question? Okay, so it's time to end up your vote right now to finish the pitching session in ending your vote. Uh, Dominique, and uh, something to add before uh, we uh, show the results and the free top solution of this session, Dominique? Well, as I said before, Mike and Nell, I think that uh, the candidate will have uh, the opportunity to pitch uh, at uh, BIM World Expo in Paris the 5th and 6th of uh, April. Uh, we will have a very uh, interesting experts and, uh, and great, uh, and great, uh, great speech, pitches. So now let's go, let's move on. And uh, Europe is, uh, is open to have the best uh, technology, the US technology for sure. Thank you very much, Dominique. Now it's time to show the results of the voting application. Did you send your vote, guys? It's over. Okay, now can we, David, see the top three winner? Ah, wait, say uh, Sebastian, hurry up, uh, Sebastian, because in a while, we're going to publish the final results. Okay. Um, Michel, we're about to uh, finish this session. After that, it's going to be the Grand Debriefing, but uh, the Grand Debriefing in French. So, first of all, uh, okay, it's all right for you, Sebastien? It should be, say, Sebastien, the suspense. Okay, it's done right now. So, number one is Imagion. Number two is Trendy. Number three is Geo Aperio. Good job, guys. Thank you and congratulations. Uh, so, uh, let me remind to all the candidates that your solution, if it's not because you are in the top three, but you won't be connected with our integrator, investor and fa and user because they are spotting out each technology in their uh, in their own uh, uh, innovation program so thank you for taking to my global village detection program keep in mind that you will be connected in the coming weeks so it's uh, we are close to the end of this pitching session something to have michelle well well for, for most of you guys uh, thanks for being here i think this is just the, the beginning of the road and we we hope to uh, to travel that uh, journey with you guys and we'll be at your side so okay we are at your sites and in your own territory in your own country you can of course organize my global village jury and of course innovative solution and you can be sure that we will connect you with territories all over the world to develop your solution your business and your acceleration hope to see you soon for south by southwest it's over right now thank you hope to see you pretty soon. Next meeting will be uh, BIM World, then VivaTech in Paris, then we move up to Barcelona Smart Cities, and of course, the end of this uh, yearly show will be in Las Vegas for the in January. Bye-bye, guys. See you soon.